Shumai! Croeso i Dospeth Kelv Gada Oriel Marthin Gallery. Welcome to Art Class with Oriel Marthin Gallery. Today we are going to make some little theatres out of matchboxes. Here's a big matchbox, like a cook's matchbox. This is ideal. Or um, this is a lovely matchbox that artist Tom Frost made for us at the gallery. That's a lovely matchbox to use, but you might not want to um, spoil such a lovely matchbox. Um, or you can just use any box, a small box like this. Um, and I made one already to show you um, in, a, in a small kind of tray-like box. So um, that doesn't have the matchbox slidey out draw bit, but that doesn't matter. I will show you how you can use this outer piece of the matchbox. So you can use this like curtains for your matchbox theatre. So the first thing that you need to do is cut this in half. So I'm just going to measure half on my matchbox. I'm going to measure my matchbox. It's 11 centimetres. So I need to mark off five and a half centimetres at the top and the bottom there and draw a line. So I've got a line exactly down the middle of the matchbox. Then I'm going to take some quite sharp scissors, so you might need help with this, and I'm going to cut along that line. So can you see that I just sort of squashed this outer part of the matchbox flat, and then you can cut it all in one up the middle. So you, you've now got that sort of sleeve in two halves. So if you put it back on your on your matchbox tray, the bit that has the matches in, you will see how you can kind of use that like curtains, drawing the curtains on your little matchbox puppet theatre. So I'm going to stick some curtains, nice red curtains, to each half of this matchbox. I've got a glue gun. You don't need to use a glue gun. You can use uh, white glue, PVA. You can kind of keep that in place with pegs. Obviously, the glue gun dries very, very quickly, which is useful. So I'm just going to put a line of glue along the top and the bottom. I'm going to stick this bit of red fabric, I've already cut this to size, I'm going to stick it at one end and then at the other end. So I've stuck it kind of like that in a loop and then before that glue gun glue dries I'm just going to kind of fold it like that. So you've got those sort of ruched that look of kind of ruched curtains and you can put a little bit more glue at the top just to add to that sort of ruching effect so that makes it can make it look quite theatrical like that um, I'm just going to do the other side quickly um, so you can have a look at it again. So stick each side separately. So I've put my lines of glue along the top and the bottom. Then I've stuck that on and then I'm going to stick down the bottom edge and the top edge just with that sort of ruching effect. So what I did is I, I cut bits of fabric that were longer, twice as long actually as I needed and so then you get all this nice ruching for your curtains. There we go. So now if I put these back on the matchbox tray, part of the matchbox, you can see 
got these lovely red curtains. You can draw the curtains on your Matchbox Theatre. Now, I'm going to put that there. Here's one I made already with a painted backdrop. But you can use um, something cut out of a magazine for your backdrop. So here I've got a little picture of a little lake at sunset so you can slip that in there and you've got an instant backdrop for your little theatre put, put your little curtainy bits back on and then what you need to do is cut a slot in the bottom of the tray part and then you can create other little bits of scenery. I made a little cottage here to go in the woods. So you can put that in there. And then, of course, you can make characters. So I made Little Red Riding Hood here. Came to see her grandma. But who comes along? It's the wolf. So the wolf is here hiding behind the cottage. So you're all ready to do some lovely puppetry. A bit hard to do it here uh, with one hand on camera. I'm sure you'll do better than me. Um, please share your little matchbox theatres. We'd love to see them. Always love to see your work. Um, and have fun. Thank you for watching. Do you have